The Prime Minister went into the call with Canada's Premiers with a plan, and the Premiers came out swinging. We need to be ready. Uh, we need to be ready to fight. Uh, this fight is coming, uh, 100%. Sources say the Prime Minister laid out broad strokes of a new beefed-up border strategy. We asked for more boots on the ground for our CBS, uh, CBSA officers and RCMP officers, and uh, they agreed. And obviously, a priority will be to share details of this plan with the incoming Trump administration and with uh, Canadians in the coming days. It's an all-hands-on-deck response to Donald Trump's threat to slap Canadian goods with a 25% tariff over concerns about the border. The tariffs that they've proposed at 25% would be devastating to the Canadian economy. Ottawa's already pledged more helicopters and drones. Provinces offered law enforcement resources, both aimed at stopping illegal crossings. And sources say Trudeau also discussed the fight against fentanyl, something Trump brought up repeatedly when the Prime Minister visited Mar-a-Lago. Justin Trudeau has also floated retaliatory tariffs. We will, of course, as we did uh, eight years ago, respond to unfair tariffs. Ford took that further, threatening to stop Ontario energy exports. We will go to the full extent, depending how far this goes, uh, we will uh, go to the extent of cutting off their energy. Premiers have also been key to the diplomatic push to convince Trump to change his mind, meeting with American governors and appearing on American TV, saying tariffs will be bad for both countries. It's hurting the American people, it's hurting the Canadian people. Uh, why the president is doing this is beyond me. Quebec Premier François Legault met Trump last weekend in France. He's now calling for a costed border plan, tighter visa rules, and to negotiate a new free trade agreement now and without Mexico. How much this will cost for now is unclear. Sources have said Ottawa is prepared to spend up to a billion dollars on border security, spending that could be approved before Donald Trump even takes office. Kate McKenna, CBC News, Ottawa. Let's go to Catherine Cullen now. So, Catherine, pretty strong words from Doug Ford. What are you hearing about how those words are landing in Ottawa? You know, Adrian, it's a pretty dramatic turn from border policy, but the federal sources I've spoken to, they're not unhappy with what Doug Ford said. One source said he's not wrong to point out that the U.S. needs Canadian energy and that there's already been federal work done on what items could be part of a strategy to counter the tariffs. The deputy prime minister spoke publicly tonight about some premiers suggesting critical minerals as a sensitive product that Canada could use to its advantage. There's a pretty big difference, though, between withholding lithium and withholding electricity. Also, just because J Doug Ford suggested this, that doesn't mean it will happen. But it does speak to a growing sentiment amongst officials I talked to that Canada needs to be prepared in case Trump's threats go further. Make no mistake, though, this tone is starting to sound like an all-out trade war with our biggest trading partner. And Catherine Ford also, interestingly, challenged the prime minister for wading into U.S. politics. Yeah, this is about an event last night focused on women in politics where Justin Trudeau said that the U.S. failed for a second time to elect a woman president. Trudeau called himself a proud feminist. In response, Elon Musk posted online that Trudeau is, quote, such an insufferable tool who won't be in power for much longer. Ford said that came up during the premier's call tonight, that Trudeau's remarks weren't helpful and that Trudeau got that message loud and clear. Adrian. All right, Catherine Cullen in Ottawa for us tonight. Thanks, Catherine. Thank you.